In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a data aging analysis. We have data here, which shows the invoice date, the name of the customer, the amount, and our objective is to categorize this amount based on this date, whether it is due for less than 30 days or between 30 days and 60 days, or from 60 days to 90 days, or this date is more than 90 days. That's what we're gonna do in this video. And we're going to use a number of Google functions. So let's get started. I'm going to start with less than 30 days. So I'm going to put an if function here, and I'm going to be calculating today's date, say today's date minus, the date of the invoice. And if that value is less than 30 days, what I want to be returned is this amount here. And if it is not, I want a zero to be returned. So when I do that, you can see that for this first entry, it is 1st January, 2023. And I'm doing this on 9th of January 2023. So between January 9th and January 1st, those days are less than 30. So it puts the amount here. December 25th and today's date, which is 1st, 9th of January, also is less than 30, like so. All the other cases, there are more than 30 days. In the next one here, I want the date to lie between 30 and 60 days. So to do that, again, I'm going to use the if function, but because I'm testing two dates, I'm going to use the and function where I say today's date minus the date of the invoice must be greater or equal to 30, comma, or today's date minus the date of the invoice must be less than 60 days. I close my AND function. So this is my condition. It will return true or false. And if it is true, I want the value of the invoice to be displayed in this column. And if it is false, I want a zero. I close my brackets like so and enter there. So you see for the invoice of 12th, 1st of December, 2022, and today's date, which is 9th of January, 2023, then if you calculate the number of days is between 30 and 60, that's why we have these amounts here, and the rest are zeros. Having done this, we can tweak it to fit this one here. So all I have to do is copy this function, control C, come here, control V, and I have to change the 30 to 60 and the 60 to 90. So make this 60, make this 90, press enter and say, okay. Now in the last example here, the day, today's date, minus the date of the invoice needs to be greater or equal to 90. All the other cases, if that is true, return the value of the invoice in this column. If it is false, return a zero, press enter, autofill comes into play, and you go down and observe that, like this date, this is, Ninth, this is September 1st, 2021, and today is 9th of January, 2023. Definitely those are more than 90 days. That's why it displays in this column here. So 
up here, I've put a sum function which sums all the values under column D. Then E sums F sums D, and we get the distribution as so. When we add all these, we get the 10 million 322, which is the same as the sum of that column there, which is 10 million 322, and you know that everything is fine. So this is how you can do your aging analysis in Google Sheets. And also, if you don't want to use today's date, you can use a cell here and put a particular date and then reference, change today's date to whatever, to reference the cell of which you want to check the dates, the date, the due date from that date that is in that cell. So this is how you can do an edge analysis in Google Sheets. Hope this has been helpful. And if so, like the video, give me your comments, subscribe if you have not yet, and see you in the next video. In the meantime, have a great day. Thank you.